Um, but I think overall the lineup was was a good one. I mean, um, you know, Chan Bazwan who got into the lineup, uh, did some things nice. Huntelar, who arguably our best player last game, uh, showed again why he is class. And I, I mean, with a C, not you know, with a K, like his name. <laughs> uh, but there's so you know some good things. But I think by the by the team overall, a couple opportunities I can't remember off the top of my head who exactly had them. Uh, I think Sarah Demary had one, Harit maybe, and Huntelar as well. Um, the the commentators had made a comment that uh, commentators made a comment <laughs> that as, uh, as they tend to do they tend to do right yeah. once in a while um, that Serda was maybe potentially the man of the match because he had scored the only goal I tend to disagree with that not that Serda played you know didn't play great I think he had this is one of the better games in a while because he we had been very critical of how he's been playing as of late um, he had an okay game but I think uh, again Junto are showing his class. Um, that he was a cream of the crop, and you know you can tell he is a class above everybody else with the way he can hold the ball up, the little things he does. I mean, Harit looked so much better in in the last two games with Kuntalar versus anybody else. It seems this season, and so um, nice to have him back. And that that'd be my pick for man of the match. Uh, who would your something else we talked about last week that we continued again is is Huntelar just yelling at people. <laughs> Which, which I continue to – the guy has the right mentality. Absolutely. Huntelar has is the kind of competitor that you want on your team because he's, he's getting upset with the officials when they're making decisions that, he's, that he doesn't like. He's being vocal about that. He's, he's calling for passes all the time when he thinks he should be receiving them. He's letting people know. He's, he's constantly I – mean, he's talking to his teammates, and I have to hope that um, they're absorbing some of that. And um, I could be reading way too much into this, but, like, I felt like there was even, like, a body language thing from, like, Harit when he's in a partnership with, with Huntelar, yes. just maybe the experience and sort of the reputation of Huntelar, like it feels like Harit is... Um, Some swagger was back. Yeah, he, he, it seems like he has maybe a little bit extra motivation, maybe slightly more focused because of who he's playing with. Yeah. Um, and he, he wants to have a good account of himself. That's entirely speculation on my part, and I could be imagining that. But I, I feel like I've noticed that a little bit as well. I'm not... I, 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 I see that for sure. Uh, you know, when those two, those three games that Hoppy had a really fantastic run... Harit was looking similar as well, you know, he because uh, Hoppy's obviously fantastic, and Harit was had confidence going. But there, you saw in this the last two games how he has. It seemed like his play has gotten better, right? You saw today or this weekend, this last game, is, is in particular, like the give and goes. You saw him start doing some of the feints that he did before and taking guys on one on one versus two. And uh, to your point about about uh, Huntelar, you know, screaming for the ball. After a while, Harit started getting in his head. He's like, okay, I'm going to keep giving the ball to, her, to to Huntelar. And you started seeing that more and more. You know, they, they kept trying to find each other, which is good. You know, Good players try to tend to find each other and play give-and-goes all the time. And, you know, the results in uh, good plays. So, uh, absolutely. No, I loved it. And I also, you know, I noticed you know, after Huntelar came off, he was one of the l- loudest people cheering after they won. You know? So, you know, that's the kind of mentality, to your credit, uh, exactly what we need. And uh, it was also... I, mean, I, loved, I loved some of the comments that Huntelar made if I saw the proper translation, but basically like... Um, you know, we got this one and now we're going to go out and we're going to get another one. Like just very matter of fact, yeah. like, like this is the first one and now we're just going to keep going. And I, I, I mean, I love that whether or not they're going to be able to back that up. I have some doubts, but, uh, you know, it is, it isn't the worst schedule then the season. And if they no. can kind of keep this momentum, who knows, they can, they can get a couple draws, a couple wins. Who knows? Yeah. Huntel, I was basically saying that we're taking this one game at a time. Let's go to the next game and take a win and keep going from there. Um, that's it. That's a, that's our only focus at the moment. And so that's a, that's the way to approach it, really. Uh, Glenn says uh, would love Huntelar to come back for at least one more season with us. He can be our Claudio. Yeah, I th- I thought I saw something in the past week where where there were some conversations happening about that. Like somebody was at the club was trying to convince Huntelar to stay for another season. Early I mean, season. Gelson Kirschen is near Amsterdam. It's close to his home. I'm just saying. But you know, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I would I, I would love to see yeah. it. I think he would be great. You know, great understudy or, or teacher mentor for all the young strikers we have um i don't expect him to play 90 minutes even though now he looks like he can't play 90 minutes uh per game yeah, but he, he's not gonna stay healthy i mean he's no. yeah no. If, if he comes back for the season he's not he's not like he's gonna be available every game for the entire season or anything like that but Correct. yeah he, he's a guy that yeah just his presence and experience you hope can it can help settle things down and, and then bring give something to some of these young players that are coming through it's certainly a boost, if not on the pitch, also in the locker room as well. We see we see a similar thing with uh, Ibrahimovic in Milan. You know, he's you know fifty seven years old or however old he is, uh, but he's got that. You know, not, he's talented on the pitch, but also you know brings up the young players and, and how they learn through him. So hopefully with Huntelar, we get something similar to that next year. But we'll see. I mean, all indications are he's still going to retire, but uh, we'll you know hopefully maybe someone can convince him. Maybe his kids can convince him to keep playing. Who knows?